How's it going, everybody? We got the weekly blog to go over today, and this one is titled Ready, Set, Race to Valhalla. Because, of course, of course, of course, Dark Dimension 8 is opening up next week. Speaking of Dark Dimension 8, we did do a video earlier today on the channel going over the node composition that Baka, CM Baka, not a real community manager, but that's what we call him, uh, and went ahead and data mined the node composition. This looks insanely difficult. It's going to kind of axe out a lot of characters that you're probably really going to be banking on. Like, for instance, the global hero section, there's going to be a lot of uh, gores, which is going to really mess with, say, Sunspot coming in, stripping the charges off, so he's no longer giving the extreme energy. If you're playing that, messing with Black Knight. Uh, the Cabal team for the city villains are going to have a lot of fast enemies here without their ability to pop off quickly. It looks like Orcus might take the commanding lead as a priority build there so this is something you probably want to check out in the video from earlier today i'll leave a comment with the uh link to that in the description below and in the comment section there is a link to this spreadsheet you can check it out on your own if you prefer to do that then watch the video as well i digress let's get back to the blog so we got the weekend arena warrior on the 14th and 15th that is the what thanos endgame orbs right those really really bad rng orbs so you can get more of those hopefully you guys get lucky September 16th, we got Fall of Mutants, Earn Sentinel Scrap from ISO 8 Campaign Nodes, Este Web Milestone, so spend Sentinel Scrap Event Currency. So spending Sentinel Scrap Event Currency is interesting, right? Because it leads me to think like another store or an orb, which is interesting. But um, more often than not, when it is to a store to spend something, the milestones are more often um, catering towards or, you know, pulling progression from collecting a resource not spending it because it leads to like the hoarding issue so i'll be interested to see what's going on with that one we do have a dark future alliance event so we're going to be battling in raids with the new orcus characters as well as collecting the allied supply orb fragments dark dimension 8 launches and here's the big news for this blog old man logan trial returns much faster than it did the uh the second round so we're excited for that and then we got two valhalla which is going to be that um that event that's running alongside dark dimension 8 giving additional odin red stars away which is kind of crazy they're doing that it's something they've never done before we have the uh alpha flight quick rumble so get that done and then we got keep an eye out for the inbox matches early to characters availability we got diamonds for scroll sasquatch north star added to the elite store so this diamonds added for super scroll is kind of the big news we'll see how much he's going to cost for the dark diamonds i assume he's going to be very very expensive and then we're going to have to probably change a lot of our diamond promo priority stuff but we'll see because diamonds on scroll definitely change how he functions all right we did have a odin has entered the dark dimension video pop up and people were pointing to this first node here that they showed in the video because it does say dark dimension eight they were looking at this node composition. It doesn't match this. We didn't see any uh, trait requirements. What I will say, guys, go to DD7. These are the characters for the first node of DD7. So they didn't show us the actual uh, map for Dark Dimension 8, unless it's a complete carbon copy of Dark Dimension 7, which would be wild. Uh, they just showed us like the background and they slapped this on for this video. I do still think there's probably going to be an unrestricted section that they didn't announce. For Dark Dimension 8, but we're gonna have to wait and see when it goes live. All right, to Valhalla! It's nearly time for the gates of Dark Dimension 8 to open. Are you ready? Review our recent blog for a complete rundown of Dark Dimension 8 requirements and make your final preparations with Purple ISO 8 and gear. When Dark Dimension 8 opens on September 16th at 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time, everyone is invited to charge to the gates for the to Valhalla event, which promises key resources for your roster, Odin, and your Orcus squad building efforts. Yeah, a lot of people are pretty upset about this. The um, Orcus squad building, so the new character team being tied to like Dark Dimension. It is, it's really weird. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it either. They're, they're experimenting, they're doing with the character events. Just feels worse and worse and worse. And someone I'm sure is doing a lot of math here to see if it is actually worse and worse and worse for like the regular player. But the last couple of teams, like, we just don't know because people are coring because they're scared uh, and because it was an arena team for the Annihilators. And then before that, the Captain Britain epic exclusive character. We just don't know what numbers to believe in right now. Um, we'll see how all this shakes up. In my gut, it doesn't feel good. Feels It feels off. 
The first few missions are more forgiving than the usual Dark Dimension initial nodes, so we encourage all commanders to equip the necessary Purple ISO 80 characters and step foot into the realm to join the fun. Is there an unrestricted section? Like, what's going on? Limited time to Valhalla Milestone. Complete the Dark Dimension 8 milestones now to earn Ravens and make progress in the limited time to Valhalla Milestone. Earn the following limited time rewards. Three to seven stars. Red stars for Odin. So if you finish Dark Dimension 8 while this event is running, you're going to walk away with a seven red star Odin. Do you know how insane that is? Do you know this character's stats? We can, we, can, we can quickly go over that if you guys want. His stats are stupid, man. This character, like, it doesn't make sense. Let's go to the stats. We'll put seven red stars. We'll take the diamonds off. Calculate the power. Look who's number, number one. We got Mephisto, and then we have Odin. Damage. Look at how much damage Odin has. Armor. Odin. Focus. Old Man Logan. Surfer. Odin. Resist. Silver Surfer. Odin. Silver Surfer kind of sneaking in there. I didn't realize he was that big. It's going to be crazy for people to be walking away with a 7-star Odin. His kid is bonkers. Odin's fully crafted gear tier 19 unique. So you're going to save some crimson pieces there. T3 ice weight credits and T3 L1 ions. So this is actually kind of cool. While this event is running, if you have a couple characters ready to go or a couple sections ready to go, maybe you're going to be able to sneak in another section by getting some resources from the milestones. We'll have to see. I don't think they're going to be giving millions away. They might give like 500,000 away per two sections we'll have to wait and see but uh yeah i don't i don't think it's going to be like game breaking crimson and teal mystic gear ciphers and sentinel evolution orbs for the paths to orcus event equip your purple iso 8 gear up and power up your squads for the unforgettable missions to odin and valhalla the friday free claim we got 500 iron legion orb fragments 9,000 sentinel cores and make sure you grab the free claim available every day on the website to earn even more weekly rewards okay so the fall of the mutants this is where we're going to be earning sentinel scrap from iso 8 campaign nodes yeah so we got to be coring the iso 8 campaign roger that i hate that yuck 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 yuck, yuck. so s date boost your fall of the mutants progress and earn uh dark health packs Ooh, for dark dimension with the s day web event spend sentinel scrap uh dark health packs and fall so where do we spend the sentinel scrap Operation starts September 16th when Dark Dimension goes live. Okay. Okay. I just don't know where we spent it. What is this? Is this a store? Let me know in the comment section. Am I missing something? Is this some sort of store? They're just not like fully announcing what's going on. Unite your alliance and secure Sentinel course in the Dark Future event. Earn points by battling the raids. Bonus points for using the Orcus characters and collecting the ally supply orb fragments. Earn more points from the Orcus raid node awards with bonus points for Orcus tech nodes. Higher difficulties and larger point qualities. At least they're doing, at least like you're getting more for the mode you're playing in. All right, so we're getting some ciphers. We're getting the Sentinel frag, uh, factory orb fragments. I think those are the terrible orbs. And we're getting some cores. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm just going to go blow my nose. All right, sorry about that. We got the Alpha Assault Quick Rumble to look forward to. This is where we're going to be doing our blitzing with the Alpha Flight. That's normally pretty easy. And here's the big news that a lot more people are excited about is the old man logan trial returns the old man lego trials are returning soon that means it's time for commanders level 50 and above to unlock and power up old man logan the legendary leader of the mercs for money team if you're new to marvel strike force or haven't unlocked him yet old man logan is a must-have character who can change your fortunes in battles that is definitely true no matter the game mode the old man logan trials are your limited time opportunity to recruit him okay so it is still limited time he is not permanent yet the old man Logan may be long in the tooth, but he's still the best at what he does, and what he does in battle is nice, as long as he's on your team. True. If you are a new player, and you have old man Logan, they have old man Logan, might end up into a stalemate, and then you time out, and then you lose, which is annoying. New players. Keep an eye on our website for a special player guide log for a mission-by-mission -mission breakdown and recommendation to have old man Logan onto your roster before the trial ends. Here's how to obtain yellow stars and red stars for old man Logan. Uh, what I will say, I'm not sure if they're going to recommend uh, this other one, but if you are very, very new and you've only been building up your raid teams because you are you're, you love the game, you started it, you're very engaged, you're like, oh, I need to build Spider Society super high, I need to go Extreme super high, I need to build Orcus super high, and you've only done that, use those characters built up to the highest level you can bring them to 
go to difficulty 14 or difficulty 50 if you want a free red star and just do the first mission you're going to be stargated out for the rest but by just doing the first mission which is possible with a like 1 million power team which is around level 75 gear tier 14 on these guys you can unlock old man logan without needing any other of the characters that's going to be important otherwise there are some great player guides uh out there i got one on the channel i got a master guide and maybe we'll do an updated guide but i'm not sure it's gonna need one uh we'll go over that in a second upgrade tokens old man logan's uh trials features upgrade tokens which instantly unlocks a specific star level for a character you'll find upgrade tokens in trial milestones yeah this is just this is the reward you get from milestone it's going to automatically level up old man logan to whatever star level whatever uh gear tier that they have it set to or if you've already surpassed that it just gets wasted run scores clear all the notes to earn the most points possible towards your run score you'll have a limited run score attempts uh, sorry unlimited run score attempts and your highest score will be recorded earn old man logan stars and rewards so here's the kind of the breakdown guys if you want to get him to four stars we gotta do difficulty eight or sorry milestone eight is what we're gonna have to clear um i don't know what difficulty that is i know that if you do i believe it is uh difficulty 15 first node you will you will clear milestone nine is what it normally is so you get the yellow stars plus one free red star difficulties and packs oh and to do to get the seven yellow stars you have to do difficulty 15. so buckle up guys we gotta do difficulty 15. my baby account should be able to attempt this this time around and i'm gonna have a small cosmic bio section which is going to be uh a big kind of feature of how difficult it is to get this guy unlocked so hopefully we'll showcase that with you guys Difficulty of the pack, so difficulties five and above. We're gonna have to use Cabal, Emma Frost, Loki, as well as the out of time team on, on various nodes. Actually, let's just go over here. So this is the uh, restriction breakdown, guys. So mission one, no restriction. Mission two, after difficulty five, we gotta use the out of time. We have certain star level requirements as we go higher. Cosmic bio section. This is definitely gonna be the most problematic note as far as um newer players because it really relies on having your nowhere characters built up and your scroll built up now if you're like me and you came to the game a little bit later at least on one of my accounts my scroll is four red stars my nova is four red stars i can build them up with like um gear tier and levels but the red stars because it's dark promotion credits super limited so we're gonna see how we can get through there on at least a little bit of a budget Hero skill is just going to be your spider society team in action villains. There's a whack load of villains, including the Cabal team that make you build up anyway. And then it just repeats itself. So these are the kind of teams that we're going to have to build up for that. And of course, if you want to know how to get it done on a budget. Make sure you check out the guides we're going to have and the playthrough video I'll put out on that for sure. All right. So here are the packs. Basically, guys, we're going to equip most of, if not all the packs, except for these health serum ones. They're all pretty much helpful, which is awkward, but it's the way it goes. All right, back to the wasteland. Whether you're a green commander or long in the tooth, we want as many of you as possible to recruit and power up Old Man Logan during this upcoming trials. Back to the wasteland has got you covered. New players can earn upgrade tokens for important trial teams needed to unlock Old Man Logan. If you've already unlocked them, don't miss out on the gold trading modules and character shards to boost your team. All right, cool. So hopefully it's going to give us Emma Frost, Captain Carter, Starbrand, Iron Patriot, and Leader. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we're going to get a lot of those character shards for free here. That'd be fantastic, but it's upgrade tokens. All right, then we got the red store treat store has been extended. This is in preparation for the dark dimension eight. If you have a lot of those um, radioactive treats still left over that you can buy some more ions, some more crystals to get ready. And we got the promo code assemble. We shared that yesterday. Hopefully you already got it done. All right, guys, till next time. Good luck, commanders. I'm quickly going to go to the uh, Friday free claim. Claim that with you guys here. Let's see. Do, 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 do and yeah nothing nothing too crazy here uh, i do want to point out this offer that i'm kind of hiding let me minimize this a little bit or zoom out a bit uh this offer right here is feeding into the web mouse so make sure you're collecting this every day it's going to be very important and of course you get those super coveted everybody loves these orbs but yeah this this uh, annihilators assembled milestone points is feeding into i don't buy anything on this account but it feeds into this web milestone which is going to be getting us lots of shards for gore lots a few shards for the annihilator characters all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like share with friends and subscribe channel without further ado stay happy stay healthy have fun i'll see you guys during the weekend bye for now
that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you like share and subscribe stay happy healthy have fun and i'll see you in the next one